Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm your friend in Saxo. Do you miss me or not? Today, what I'm gonna do is to try to improve my English. I know my pronunciation is already good enough, but sometimes I would feel like I don't know how to describe a scene. And if I do not speak English for a while, I just forget about how to do it in a fluent way. So let's do this practice together. And what I'm gonna do is to shadow speaking with some native speakers, and I hope it works. Let's get into it. English? That you need to know more words, to more then stick around. Words, with these stick lessons, with this, you'll pick this up some of the most will, common words in just a few. You will know some common words in just a few seconds. Minutes. Now, this video is a small portion of our learning program. To get the full lessons, translate. Now, this video is just a small portion of our learning program. To get the full lessons and translations, all you have to do is to subscribe and give us money monthly. And fluency fast study tools. Click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, so what he, what she was trying to asking you is she wants you to sign up for the website, sign up accounts. In this video, you'll learn 20 of the most common words and phrases in English. In this video, you will learn 20 of the, of the most common words and phrases in English. Hi everybody, my name is Alicia. Welcome Hi everybody, my name is InsightXO. Welcome to the 800 core English words and phrases video. Welcome to the 800 core English words and phrases video. video series. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases. This series will teach you the 800 most common words and phrases that you have ever needed in your life. And that is true, you don't have to know a lot of things to get started to use English in your daily life. Because normally what you would do is to just use some simple words and simple sentence structure to describe your idea to other people. Phrases in English. But there's a twist. With each new lesson in this series, we'll include the previous lessons at the end. But here's the different difference that all video, than other videos, than others video in other platforms. We will add and include the previous lessons at the end of each new video so that you could have a review on what you have learned before. So after you've learned the new words and phrases, stick around and review what you learned in previous lessons. So here you could say the difference between she and me. You know, I was thinking definitely different than she or than her. Since reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning. Reviewing is one of the most important parts of learning. Learning a language. Especially for learning a language. You can also get the full list right now. At you can also get the full list right now if you really want it. Englishclass101.com All you have to do is to go to the Englishclass101.com website. Click that button and you get it. And you will get it. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences. Click the link in the description to access more example sentences. This create your own flashcard deck and finally master English. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's get started. This is just this is what I would say normally. First is break. The first the first word you gonna know is break. 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 So to break something means to cause it not to function. So to break something means to cause it not to function correctly. Or for example, when you break an object it means you or for example when you break an object it means you crush it or you just you crush it or you just destroy it destroy it in some way so you can't use it anymore so that you cannot use that object anymore i broke one of my plates while washing the dishes i broke one of my plates while washing the dishes i broke one of my plates while washing the dishes i broke one of my plates while washing the dishes i broke one of my plates while washing the dishes cut Cut. 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 Cut can be used as a noun and as a verb. Cut can be used as a noun and as a verb. Here, the noun means a word that can represent an object in our world. And the verb here means it's an action. It's a word of an action. We can use it to mean to separate two parts of something. We can use the word cut to mean to separate two parts of something. With a knife, usually. Normally, we would do it with a knife. Or I could 
could represent in or I could represent it in a different way. I could say that we normally use a word called to separate two parts of something with a knife usually. And we can use it to talk about an injury that we receive from something. Or we can use it to represent an injury that we receive from something sharp. Sharp. The boy fell and has a deep cut on his leg. The boy fell and has a deep cut on his leg. The boy fell and has a deep cut on his leg. The boy fell and has a deep cut on his leg. Sprain. 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 Sprain is used as a noun and as a verb. As a noun, a sprain refers to a type of muscle injury. As a noun, a sprain refers to a type of muscle injury. I don't know that. If you stretch or tear a small part of the muscle, if you stretch or tear a small part of the muscle, you get a sprain. You get a sprain. As a verb, to sprain refers to causing this type of injury. As a verb, to sprain refers to causing this type of injury. The athlete sprained his ankle. The athlete sprained his ankle. Okay, I got it. So probably this word means you hurt your muscle by, by pulling or let's say on accident or by accidentally falling. If, if I want to use the Chinese to describe this word, that would be la sang or the liu sang. I don't know. The athlete sprained his ankle. The athlete sprained his ankle. Microwave oven. Microwave oven. Microwave oven. Microwave oven. A microwave oven is also called a microwave. It's a box that we use to heat up. Mi microwave, it's a box that we use to heat up something. For example, your food. Food quickly. The most convenient kitchen appliance is the microwave oven. The most convenient kitchen appliance is the microwave oven. I agree with that. I even used it to try to cook the mice. I mean, I used it to cook everything that I could sync up in my mind. The most convenient kitchen appliance is the microwave oven. The most convenient kitchen appliance is... Is the microwave oven. Refrigerator. 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 A refrigerator is like a very large cold box that we use to store foods and drinks. A refrigerator is a big cold box that we use to store foods and drinks. Refrigerator is a very, very long word, so we usually say fridge. Refrigerator is a very, very long word, so we usually say fridge to simplify our Life. The refrigerator is full of food for the holiday. The refrigerator is full of food for the holiday. The refrigerator is full of food for the holiday. The refrigerator is full of food for the holiday. Vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner. A vacuum cleaner is a machine we use to clean our floors. A vacuum cleaner is a machine we use to clean our floors. We usually use vacuum cleaners to clean carpets. So a vacuum Vacuum cleaner is typically very, very noisy, and we push it to clean our house. Okay, when she say that it's very nice, noisy, it's very noisy, then I it, it suddenly reminds me the the big machine, big clean machine, uh, we use in our office. For every week, there would be a cleaner that would try to use that, that machine to clean our office, and at that time, it's very, very annoying. But we cannot avoid it since it's a let's say a weekly routine uh, for this office to be be able to maintain a clear state. This vacuum cleaner is very quiet. 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 Sweat. 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 Sweat is both a noun and a verb. Sweat, as a noun, is the liquid that comes out of your body when you Sweat, as a noun, is the liquid that comes out of your body when you do some movements. When you feel very hot, like Or when you feel very hard. When you exercise. Exercise or when like when you exercise or when the temperature is hot when the temperature itself is hot to sweat means for your body to go through the process of creating to sweat means for your body to go through the process of creating sweat sweat the athletes were covered in sweat after the game the athletes were covered in sweat after the game okay so here he used the the, the word game to represent that uh, that big events you know there has something that hidden in it so 
as a game, they always have some output. You win or you lose. That's why they call it a game. The athletes were covered in sweat after the game. The athletes were covered in sweat after the game. Check in. Check in. Check in. Check in. Check in is a very common phrasal verb. We use it at hotels and check in is a very common verb we use at the hotels and at the airport and at the airport or for any place that you need to show something, show your identity to the guard to be able to get into that place when this happened or when you need to get into such a place, then you will need to check in. To mean you announce your arrival to a person who it means you announce your arrival to a person who works there. Who works there. It's like you are showing up for your reservation. It's like you are showing up for your reservation. I'll check in at 10 p.m. I will check in at 10 p.m. I'll check in at 10 p.m. I'll check in at 10 p.m. Room number. Room number. Room number. Room number. A room number is a number assigned to a room where you live or in a hotel room where you a room number. It means a number that represent your room. I guess that's it. But if you want to ask me why you need that number, well, it's because, for example, if you are somehow living in a hotel, you cannot own the whole hotel. You can only own one part of the room in that hotel. And for that room, it doesn't have a lamp. It only has a number, for example, one, two, three, or four. And that number represents your room. Where you're staying. Your room number is 514. 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 Room key. Room key. So if you need to get into your room, you'll need a key to do that. Room key. Room key. Room key is the word we use specifically for a key you receive for your hotel room. Room key is a key you receive for your hotel room so that it could open. Room. We do not use room key to talk about the key to your house or apartment. This expression is for hotels only. Okay, I don't know that, but that doesn't matter. Don't lose your room key. 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 Wake up call. Wake up call. This is a call that comes from some worker in the hotel. They try to use this call to make you wake up in the morning at a specific time. Okay, I think those words are just too simple. I don't think that I, would, I really need them to be able to talk really. And to be honest, I was quite boring. Recently, I bought a uh, recently I bought an MAC book for the 14 inches and this is what I choose. I choose the 10 core CPU and the 16 core GPU and the 16 core neural engine version. And also I set the memory to 32 gigabits and I set the storage to 1 TB SSD storage. And to be honest, this will cost me a lot of money, but I think it's worth for it. Uh, since even for my own career or, or personally for my own programming experiment, experiments, I think this is worth for it. And also by buying this kind of thing, it will make sure or it will it will guarantee you guys a better video quality in the future videos that I pop I would publish to the YouTube. So I think this is a good deal that I could make even though uh, the price is kind of uh, too high. And by the way, I really hope that there could have someone, especially a woman or a girl that could talk to me online to practice the English. I think that would be better for me since, uh, you know, by following Following this video, it can be a little bit boring at some time. So if you have any interest on me or on the programming or on the I don't know information technique, feel free to contact me and and I will show you and uh, give you everything that I could so that we could help each other to become a better person. I guess so. That's it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.